got the Asian community talking in this part of the country is the face of this fox farm a couple of miles outside Coventry. And what's attracted everybody's attention to the farm is a massive campaign launched by a local animal rights organisation to try and close it down. Coxborough Farm is run by 28-year-old Nobel Singh Gill. And for nearly three years, he's been making a perfectly lawful living breeding foxes for fur. We breed uh, Arctic blue foxes and uh, we feed them twice a day and uh, the water system is running 24 hours a day and it's all fresh water and uh, we check them all the time. I do everything within the law and uh, the law authorities like Ministry of Agriculture, RSPCA, our own association chairman for the welfare and uh, our own uh, vet, she's inspected the farm and there's nothing wrong with the farm. Everything is done properly and within the law. But three weeks ago, Nirbo's peaceful existence was shattered when a demonstration against his farm by a local animal rights group got out of control. And since that demonstration, the group has increased the pressure on Mr. Gill by attempting to get the local Asian community involved. We're trying to get public support for our campaign against Fox, Bar Fox Farm, especially among the Asian community around here. We've been doing this by getting people to sign our petition and handing out leaflets to make them more aware of what's happening there. And it's this attempt to drum up Asian support that's really got Mr. Gill and his family worried. If the Asian com uh, community joined uh, with the protesters or animal uh, rights campaigners, I would feel very bad about it because most of the time, all of our family goes for shopping in Coventry and in Birmingham as well. And when we go to the Sikh temple, we go in Coventry and Birmingham all the time. And if they went against us, it would be terrifying for the family So far, the animal rights group has not secured any official support from the Asian community. The local Ramgadiya Gurdwara has categorically refused to have anything to do with them. When I spoke to people in Coventry, it was pretty clear how they were lining up. For them, business took priority. But can I ask you what's your opinion on the farm, Cox Sparrow Farm? Yeah, uh, see, he is earning uh, his living on it, and uh, he should carry on as far as I think. And, uh, the animal rights people shouldn't uh, defuse him, you know, he's right. So I have read about it and I have seen reports on it. That as long as he's within the law, I think what he's doing is legal. Do you think it should be closed down? No, personally, I don't think so. Reading up the facts on it, I don't think it should be closed down at all. What about the animal rights people? Do you agree with them? No, that's rubbish. I don't agree with that one. Mr. Gill is right. I think he's doing the right thing, you know, to earn his living. Uh, I don't think he should close down. Well, I don't think the farmer's doing anything wrong. He's making a, a living out of his work. Uh, I don't see why the animal rights people should want him closed down because he's making a living from his work. He's not doing anything wrong. He's not breaking any laws. Well, it certainly looks from those responses that Mr. Gill has very little to worry about from the Asian community. Of course, the animal rights organisation is not planning to give up. But the point is that they may have to continue their campaign without any Asian support. And only time will tell whether in those circumstances their campaign will be successful.